Hey everybody, welcome back to the Hartford Games channel. I'm your host, Tony, and you did read that title correctly. Today we're taking a look at a $10,000 24 karat gold-plated Xbox One X Scorpio edition inside all of this bubble wrap. Big thank you to Andrew E for lending this treasure to us. So we're gonna open this thing up, we're gonna check it out, learn a little bit of the history behind it, and also try to figure out how much gold is actually plated onto it by Colorware. Colorware being the company that Microsoft uses for their promotional Xboxes. So let's go ahead and dig in. So in here we have the, you know, the AV cables and power and stuff, but we also have a gold controller. Set that down very gently. It's pretty heavy. I don't, whew. All right, let's go ahead and set this thing down. See some of that shine and shimmer coming through. Oh my goodness. I have to like microfiber my fingerprints off of this thing because it's definitely like a fingerprint magnet. There we go. <laughs> you can see how reflective this thing is. Oh my God. Wow. Look at this. Whew. That's pretty incredible. So this is just an absolutely gorgeous console. You could just see, obviously you can see my face and I hear all, all distorted, my, uh, my chin and neck here, unshaven. Just, it is just absolutely gorgeous, shiny, heavy frigging console here. Oh my goodness. It is just so incredibly reflective and beautiful. And uh, one nice little touch here. And I, I don't know if the regular Scorpio editions have this or not, but it says, hello from Seattle, Xbox One X. Just absolutely just stellar console. And then of course we also have the controller here. And that's definitely lighter feeling like a controller would be, but still so bizarre to just like see so much of your face distorted like a funhouse mirror <laughs> in the uh, in the controller but it, uh, that's just really really cool so a little bit of history here the xbox one x is a premier version of the xbox one souped up better specs all that stuff obviously not up to snuff with current gen but for the time very powerful it was released november 7th 2017. The pre-order exclusive version was the Project Scorpio edition, named after the fact that this was called Project Scorpio in development. The gold-plated version, however, could be won via the Xbox Game Pass Quest contest. Quite a, quite a mouthful. Here's an example from their site. Introducing Xbox Game Pass Quest's Summer Edition. Hello fellow gamers, your summer fun is about to begin. Starting today, we're kicking off the Xbox Game Pass Quests. Summer edition with new quests every other week exclusively available to Xbox Game Pass members. Whether it rains or shines, you will get rewards to play the games you love all summer long. A little bit further down here, what is the first quest? Starting today, complete both quests listed below to get a Fox Bat Brasilisk from the Elder Scrolls Online Tamriel Unlimited. Sorry, I just, I, I, I have not played that game. I'm mispronouncing everything here. Plus a chance to win a gold-plated Xbox One X Project Scorpio edition. Quest 1, play 60 minutes, three days in a row in any Xbox Game Pass title before July 9th. Quest 2, Earn three achievements in the Elder Scrolls Online Tamriel Unlimited from July 10th through the 16th. So essentially different quests had different playtime goals, achievements to unlock, etc. Doing these would put you in the running to potentially win a prize, and in some cases it was one of these. 
Interestingly, some individuals didn't know there was even a contest going on and won. So they just happened to have a subscription and happened to achieve the requirements just by naturally playing how they would normally anyways. And then they were contacted by Microsoft to let them know they won a prize, which is pretty incredible. So currently we know of four of these that exist, but Andrew has an inside source that tells him that approximately 15 exist. Granted, there's no way to verify that. But what my guess is, is that again, we know of four of these that are out in the wild because their owners have made it very public that they have one. Uh, there are probably other individuals that have won these that just kept it more private. Uh, it's also possible that Microsoft made some and then kept them internally, uh, either giving them away or auctioning them off at their private developer auction. So, so it's kind of vague how many actually exist, but that's also why it has such a severe price tag. Now, of course, the title says $10,000, but uh, there's been one recently that sold for eight, another that sold recently for 13. So I'm kind of averaging that out into a nice even number. So I was really curious how much gold was actually put into this thing. Obviously, when you gold plate something, it's not solid gold. It's thin sheets of gold that are plated on top of something. So yes, it's 24 karat gold, but how much mass of gold is actually on there? Uh, so theoretically, there should be a difference in weight between this console and a normal pre-order retail Xbox One X Scorpio edition. So I headed over to RetroTaku Video Games and hooked up with John and the employees over there. They happen to have the Scorpio edition console. So I weighed that in grams, ounces, and pounds, grams being the finest measurement, and now we're gonna go ahead and weigh this and see what the difference is, if any. John, you wanna weigh your balls real quick? So here we go. The regular Xbox One X Scorpio edition is 3,650 grams. This is 3,750. 30 grams, meaning that there is 80 grams worth of plated gold on it. Retail console is 8.048 pounds. This is 8.224 pounds. Retail console is 128.74 ounces. This is 131.56 ounces. And just out of curiosity, we're gonna go ahead and measure the controller versus, unfortunately, they didn't have a Scorpio Edition controller. They just had a regular Xbox One controller, but let's just see if there's a difference. This will be a little bit less exact. So the regular Xbox One controller is 235 grams. This is 239 <laughs> grams. So a difference of four grams worth of gold plated on this thing. So there is a definitive difference between the retail version of this console and the gold plated one in terms of weight. 80 grams worth specifically and another four grams on the controller itself. Assuming no other internal differences, which I really doubt because I'm assuming Microsoft just had a stock Xbox One X Scorpio edition and sent it off to be gold plated, one could guess that additional weight is the gold. Now, I didn't think that 80 grams worth of gold was a lot, but then I looked up how much 80 grams worth of 24 karat gold was worth. So big thank you to Andrew E for lending us this incredible console. If you wanna see more content like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel, click the notification button. You can join us on Patreon if you'd like to support us even more. And of course, also check out Andrew on Twitter. He's a very avid collector, as you probably have guessed. He posts all of his findings and purchases there. So it's definitely a wild ride. And make sure to check him out. I'll put a, uh, his handle on screen here and also a link in the description below. But aside from that, thank you all for watching and uh, we'll see you all next time. I would also like to give a big thank you and shout out to ConsoleVariations.com. They are an excellent resource when it comes to pretty much every variant of every console ever produced. If you want to go ahead and check them out, please do. I'm going to go ahead and put a link in the description below. Oh.